Welcome back. This is Dear Twin Flame and I have another message that came in last night that I'd like to share today. Um, it's about balance, finding your balance, keeping your balance. Um, so I ha the reason I'm, I'm recording this today is I had a dream last night and it's a dream I used to have a lot um, when I first encountered my twin flame and it was confusing and I didn't understand it and I've been having it again recently and it basically shows um, the the gist of the of the dream is I am behind a glass I can't access my twin flame it's almost like he's in an interrogation room and he's surrounded or being surrounded by a black shadow um, moving and being fed by uh, a source that um, whose intentions are not uh, positive or for the good of my twin flame. There's other people in the room as well who are trying to help him, um, but he can't see them. He can't recognize that there's anyone else, and he's just facing this fear of shadow that's um, creeping towards him. I know from my perspective that he needs to walk through that shadow to get to the light on the other side. There's a doorway and, and a way through. And I also know that the people in the room with him are there to help. Uh, at the time when I first, or when I first started having these dreams, um, I didn't recognize many of the other people in the room. Uh, I recognized one as his sister. And the rest, I, I didn't know who they were, but I knew that they were there to help. Um, in the years since, I've actually had the pleasure of um, meeting these people in in the 3D form, who I had never met prior to um, having those dreams in the first place. But now, um, since I started having this dream again, uh, I recognize the faces, the other faces that are in this dream, which is really cool. It's, it's an um, acknowledgement for me that these are messages. They aren't just whacked out dreams. Um, they are messages and that the people involved are are um, are actually in this 3D form and, and looking to help and have the knowledge to help. So that was cool. The, the reason I'm bringing up the dream is that he, my twin flame, is being um, encroached by the shadow of darkness and so and then I was watching a show and I actually listened to a song and all these messages came up about finding balance and that my twin flame is is covered in a shadow or being covered by a shadow and you need to believe that um, balance is key uh, to to overtake that um, if you fall up um, you have to believe in balance above all else if you fall out of balance um, bad things happen. That's that's when harmful things take hold. And um, if you let that darkness and shadow um, engulf you, and you can't see through it to find the light on the other side, um, then it will it will eat you alive. Um, so our job, part of our purpose in the world, is to find that balance. Balance. Um, the ebb and flow you need to have negative to have positive but if you're only in the negative and you're letting the negative drag you down um, you're not you're not in balance and I found it really interesting about this whole concept of balance that when I first met my twin flame I had this necklace on and he jumped off of the um, equipment he was in he came right over and he he was like let me see that. And he grabbed it and he looked at it and he kind of went, mm, I don't know. And he flipped it over and he saw the yin yang and he's like, oh, I understand why I was drawn. He is, my twin flame is um, drawn to the yin yang. And I think that was, it, it was interesting as I look back and remember that time because that's his key that's his that's his symbol that he needs to focus on that he needs to remember it's about balance it's not all one side or the other um, so we need to recognize an imbalance in our life and we need to fix it we need to take action to correct that balance um, dear twin flame you've lost your balance you need to work and to get get that back I'm I know you're suffering and I know you have this darkness all around you um, 
but you need to understand that it's breaking you down, that it's eating you alive, that it can only create more and more damage until you take hold. Um, the sad part is, is that you're a man who's choosing, you're choosing to let this darkness break you down. You're, you're choosing to stay there instead of, instead of taking hold and making a different choice that will ultimately lead you to uh, uh, your higher good. Um, I feel like you're making these choices to surround yourself with this darkness and to um, stay in this in these shadows because you don't deserve to be in the light. And that's just not true. You deserve happiness. You deserve to step into the light on the other side. You deserve to find your balance. You deserve it. Um, the thing about living in a shadow and letting this darkness eat away at you, it, it physically eats away at you. It makes you sick. It it tears you down. It, it destroys you from within. And the, I guess the message I want you to really take from this video is how much time do we have in our world? I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I had a friend, I just had a friend die. In the last year, I've, I've been to more funerals than I have in my entire life in the last year. And first of all, that's heartbreaking. But I look at these lives and I think, and I think for those of us who are here, here's our, here's our message is live your life. You don't know how many days you have left. Live for the joy. You deserve to have light in your life. You deserve that more than anything. You've done your time in the in the darkness. You need to come to the light, and um, you need to do it now because you don't know how many days you have left. And the longer you sit in the darkness, the less days you have because it eats your soul, it eats your body, it eats you, it tears you down physically, mentally, and and first of all, if you have two days left or you have. 40, 50 years left. Do you want to live those days in dark shadows? Do you want to live a miserable life because you feel that's what you deserve? Or do you want to take stock and say, I could only have two days. I could have 50 years. I don't know, but I want to live them to their fullest. I want to live them as if this life is a gift because it is a gift. It is a gift and what you do with it is is yours and yours alone. You choose. You choose. You choose to find the balance. You choose to find the balance and walk in light. And, and that's not to say that darkness isn't going to be part. Darkness is a part of everybody's life. You have to have balance. But the thing about the darkness is you have to look at it for the lesson that it's giving you and then learn the lesson and then move into the light. It, yeah. Are you willing to live what time you have left in shadow? That's the question. Personally, I feel it's time to let your shadows go. I think you need to step into your truth, step into your worth, and see and believe that you deserve good, that you deserve light, that you deserve love from those around you and yourself. That's my message for the day. That's all. That's it. 
I hope you have a great day. Find your balance. Find your balance. Dear Twin Flame, you are loved and you are missed.